a weekend of heart and hustle for your UH athletics. Hi everyone, I'm Kirsten Sibley and welcome to your Rainbow Roundup. As expected, Warrior Ball was put to the test over the weekend against number two, BYU. Their undefeated streak came to an end after 15 straight wins. But the Warriors rallied back Friday in a hyped up and sold out crowd Friday night, taking down BYU in a back and forth with this set. A combination of Warrior Heart and Warrior Hustle got the UH win, and they'll now look towards the conference schedule on the road with CSUN on Friday. Rolling off their wins over Washington State and the defending national champions Vanderbilt, baseball continued its winning ways, taking three of four in the series against Oregon. The Ducks had no answer to powerhouse hitters Scotty Scott, Alex Baza, and Matt Wong, and there's only a few more series left before conference play, so get your tickets before next weekend as they take on Chicago State beginning on Friday. It was just announced this morning that the Rainbow Walking basketball team claimed five all-conference honors. Along with that, the Rainbow Akine finished out the regular season with a win, putting to end their four-game losing streak against Cal Poly on Saturday, 75-58. to Jay Taga led the way with 19 points, becoming the 22nd player to join the 1,000-point club for the women's program. Taga, along with Savannah Ryer and Courtney Medab, celebrated senior night and will now lead the team to prepare for the Big West Tournament and play in the quarterfinals this Wednesday in Long Beach. Zigmar's Rainbow, Drew Bugs, and Eddie Sansbury also received all conference recognition following a win over UC Davis and a loss at CSUN. Warrior Basketball will take on the Aggies once again in the first round of the Big West Tournament. Tip off is set for this Thursday at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California at 5.30 Hawaii time. Yet another win for the women's tennis team, making their record an even 5-5 five five as they dominated the court against Stetson on Wednesday afternoon. The Rainbow Wahine have two more matches next week, taking on Liberty Wednesday, March 11th, and North Texas Thursday, March 12th. It was a busy week on the road for a men's tennis team sweeping Pacific 7-0 on Wednesday and splitting a doubleheader on Friday at the Golden State Invitational. A big shout out to Men's Tennis Athlete of the Week, Laws Sarek, for winning all of his matches. They now return home to crush the competition on Thursday, March 12th, against Washington St. Louis. It was a diverse weekend for sailing in the Port of Los Angeles Harbor Cup as teams from the East and West Coast came together with the Hawaii co-ed sailing placing six overall. They'll have a few weeks till their next event in San Francisco for the St. Francis invite. With the buildup of Big West Conference basketball tournaments coming up this week, the conference will also announce the Scholar Athletes of the Year. Representing UH will be Stein Van Tilburg from men's volleyball and Petra Malanova from women's tennis. Good luck to both these as they're representing the university with honor as the winners will be crowned later this week. Downloading countries all across the globe and states from coast to coast, the new episode of Warrior Cast will be available for downloading tomorrow morning featuring Director of Athletics David Matlin. Subscribe on Apple Music, Google Podcasts, or any of your favorite platforms for podcasts by searching either Warrior Cast or Hawaii Athletics. For the Rainbow Roundup, I'm Kirsten Sibley.